good morning my dear students i welcome you all in this session where we will study from the textbook b hive class 9 poem 1 the road not taken a wonderful poem written by robert frost let's know more about the author robert lee frost born on 26 march 1874 and passed away on January 29, 1963. He was an American poet. His work was initially published in England before it was published in America. He is highly regarded for his realistic depictions of rural life and his command of American colloquial speech. Frost was honored frequently during his lifetime, receiving four Pulitzer prizes for poetry. He became one of America's rare public literary figures. almost an artistic institution he was awarded the congressional gold medal in 1960 for his political works once pandit jawahar lal nehru said time is not measured by the passing of years but by what one does what one feels and what one achieves with this noble thought i would like to start today's class the road not taken This well-known poem is about making choices and the choices that shape us. Robert Frost is an American poet who writes simply but insi- insightfully about common ordinary experiences. The poem first published in 1916. The road not taken shows Frost at his best as a postural who combines rustic simplicity with hidden indirect and clarity of style and language let's read the poem stanza by stanza the road not taken two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and un- and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black oh I kept the first for another day yet knowing how will leads on to way I doubt it if I should ever come back I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hands two roads diverged in a wood and I I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference by sir robert frost let's analyze poem's title the road the road is symbol of the choice made by us in our lives many times we regret the choice we make but what is done once cannot be undone man regrets for what he has denied himself in life rather than what he has chosen has the poet has given his poem the title the road not taken the word road not only means way it also means journey or a stage of journey here road does not signify any ordinary road but functions a metaphor of a vital decision in our life let me introduce you with the poem in the poem the road not taken the road symbolizes our life the poet says that the path that we do not choose in our life the road not taken he describes his feelings about the choice that he had left in the past the path which we have chosen decides our future our destination the important message that the poet wants to give is that the choice that we make has an impact on our future and if we make a wrong choice we regret it but cannot go back on it so 
we must be wise while we are making choices let's move on stanza 1 two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth here diverged means separated and took a different direction yellow wood a forest with decomposing leaves symbolizes or shows autumn season undergrowth means dense growth of plants and bushes that means forest in stanza 1 poet says as once the poet was walking down a road and then there he saw a diversion there were two different paths and he had to choose one out of them the poet says that as he was a one person he could travel on one road only he had to choose one out of these two roads yellow woods means a forest with the leaves which are wearing out and they have turned yellow in color the season of autumn it represents a world which is full of people where people have been living for many years they represent people who are older than the poet the poet kept standing there and looked at the path very carefully as far as he could see before taking the path he wanted to know how it was was it suitable for him or not he was able to see the path till from where it curved after which it was covered with trees and was hidden it happens in our life also when we have choices we have alternatives but we have to choose only one out of them we take time to think about the pros and cons whether it is suitable for us or not and only then we take a decision on what path we should choose let's move on stanza 2 then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same here fair means as good as the other or similar we can say claim better option always we try to move with the better option grassy grassy why poet is saying grassy because he feels that it is unused because their grass is green un then wanted wear had not been used wanted wear means where nobody has used it when we have to choose from any other option first we try to compare both similarly here the poet kept on looking at one path for a long time to check if it is the right path for him or not and then he decided and started walking on the another path because he felt that the both the paths were equally good he says just as fair so he felt that both the paths were equally good and started walking on one of them he adds that maybe he felt that the path was better for him so he chooses it and it had grass on it which means that it was unused not many people had walked on this path earlier that is why this path was grassy and wanted where means that it was not walked over by many people after he walked on the path for some distance he realized that both the paths had been worn out the same way both paths were similar and worn out even in our life we kept or we take any path or option but all of them have the same benefits disadvantages problems challenges 
and we must face them. Challenges are everywhere equally. We think that we are choosing a better option but it's not in that way. Everywhere there are problems, everywhere you have alternatives and you have to make choices. Everywhere I hope you understand these two stanzas. In the next video you will get the two more stanzas. So keep learning, stay safe, thank you.